everybody, my name is Tonic VR, and today I'm going to teach you how to create this seat that I am currently sitting in within Rec Room with the Maker Pen. Come on, I'll teach you how. First, what you're going to want to do is open your watch, click Backpack, and click Use on your Maker Pen. Now that you have your Maker Pen, let's get started building. Now that you have your Maker Pen, open up the menu, click Palette, Tube, Back to Tools, and now you should see a drop-down menu that says Create Tube Settings. You can mess around with all the settings in this page if you need to, to start work on your chair. Now first, with my chair, I'm going to start with the legs. I'm just going to draw a piece that goes out, and thin it as it goes more in. Just a simple piece like that. Click Edit, and now, if you edit your creation, you can move around the pivots as you so please. You can even scale them up and down, or move them however you need them. Now that we have the leg of our chair, you're going to open your menu, and click Clone. Now if you select what you have just created, you can clone it again, or you can flip it. So it is the same exact thing on the other side. And I do that one more time and rotate it. So now you should have a plus with your legs. Now onward to creating the wheels on their swivel chair. First you're going to want to click palette. You can do a half pipe and you can do a donut or you can do a half pipe and you can do a sphere. Click half pipe and now draw a half pipe right where your leg will go and move it to how you need it. Now that you have your half pipe in place, you want to click palette again, go back to sphere, and add a sphere on one side of your chair. These will be the wheels of our swivel chair. You're going to want to thin them out just enough so there's two on each side. And now you're going to want to clone that to your other side. Don't worry about colors right now. We can go back through and recolor everything. And there we go. Now we have the wheels and the legs of our swivel chair. You're going to want to click select. Select both the legs and the wheels. And a little menu should pop up here. It says options. Click on that. And click merge shapes. Now that we have our wheels and legs, what we're going to want to do is we're going to make the middle of the chair. Start with 10-sided tube and just go up from the middle. But with connect nearby tubes on, you can connect your tube like this. You can scale it up and scale it down to how you need it. But a little tube trick here is you bring it back to where it exactly was. Now you should see this little weird effect that it gives. That is normal. Now if you let go, we can have that pivot just again. So this is one piece of tubing instead of multiple. And there, now we have the middle of our chair. If you need to, click configure on your maker pen and configure this by scrolling down and click smooth tube if it looks too rough for you. Please note that you can edit this however you need if it is too tall or too short. Now onward to making the actual part of the chair where the player would sit. Make sure you have a square and place it in the middle. Now click scale, select your square, and bring it out equally on each side. Make 
to make a square. Now that you have that, we can click scale. Scale it just down a little bit and center it with our build. Clone it again and scale it up again. Do this as many times as you like. It does not really matter. Now, before we continue with our chair, we're going to color some things. Click edit and then select your piece. Then you're going to click recolor. Click color again. Scroll up or down to your desired color and color it to whatever you would like. You can even change the material if you need to. Now that we have everything colored, select the square and go into your palette and select tube. Go back to tools and mess around with your tube settings such as your radius, your height, and your faces, smooth tubes, or connect nearby tubes. Just mess around with this until you get a desired shape that you want for your tubing. I'd recommend around 0.085 and 0.2 for your height scale and 6 for the cushion because that's what we're creating. First, just draw a line, a simple line. Go back down. Go back over. And back up. Now, as you can see, my square is a little wonky, but that's easy fixed. Click edit, edit your container, and select the pivots that are out of place. Click move, and you can move them right back in. Click palette, click cube, and just place the cube on one side. Turn off your grid, and then select manipulate. Now that you have manipulate selected, manipulate the cube to be the same shape to cover up the hollowedness of your tube. Bring it out just a little bit. But it, it does have some clipping, so if you need to, you can make the cube thicker so it doesn't clip through some of the tubing. And if you did it really thin, you can just manipulate the tubing all the way across and just stretch it out. You want to click recolor, material, I'd recommend doing carpet or cloth, so we're going to do cloth. Click on color and color it whatever color you would like. We'll do periwinkle. But if the texture seems too small, you can configure it and scale up the texture to whatever you'd like, up and down. We'll do 200 seems good. If you want to carry out your texture throughout the rest of your cushion, select your square where you have scaled the texture, options, and eyedrop. Now if you go into your palette and click swatches, it's right here. You can manipulate the texture scale more if you'd like. Click back to tools and click back on recolor. Now it's the same. Select your cushion. Rotate. If you need to, scale up and down so we can put it on our chair. What you're going to want to do now is select your cushion. Click clone and clone it up. Then click rotate and rotate it on its side and slightly offset it so it creates an actual cushion for your back. Now move it roughly around there for your chair. 
So now it's starting to actually look like an office chair. But we're not finished. What you're going to want to do is select your actual cushion, clone it backwards, and scale it down. Now move it into the cushion. And be sure to eye drop the color and texture that you have used, which would be, for me, slate and dirt. And just recolor that. Let's clone over our pieces here. Manipulate these all throughout our cushion side. Also be sure to clone it up again. Rotate. Bring it out a little bit more. And move it however you need it. Now that you have your armrest done, clone flip it on the exact other side. So now you have an armrest for your player. But we don't want a floating cushion now, do we? What you're going to want to do, select shapes, go back to tubing, turn on grid snap if you'd like, and mess around with your tube meters again, tube height ratio, and faces smooth or not smooth and you're going to want to draw a line coming from the back or from the underside of your chair going all the way throughout the back of your chair connecting it to your chair so now you should get something that looks like this and if it still looks off, be sure to edit it and move around the pivots. There you go. Now you have something connecting your chair to your base. And now if you'd like, you can click select. Select all the pieces of your chair if they're not merged already, and merge them. And there you go. Now you have a simple office chair for your rooms. If you need to, you can make this shorter. You can elongate the textures of your chair, or you can make this bigger for the back of the player. However you need. And this is your simple office chair for players to sit in. If you'd like to, go into your palette, click CV2. Go down to CV2 Gadgets, and scroll over until you see Seat. And now, you can add a seat to your chair. Only visible when gadgets are visible. Turn that to a yes. Move it into your seat. And now, if I turn off gadgets, the seat disappears, but I can still sit in it. And that right there is how you make a simple office chair for your rooms. I'm Tonic VR. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!